To deliver the opening remarks, please welcome Dr. C. Ganya Yatip, Secretary General of Government Pension Fund. His Excellency, Mr. Akom Teng Pitaya Pesit, Minister of Finance, Mrs. Gita s a p r a w a l UN's Resident Coordinator in Thailand, the United Nations in Thailand, Executive from the Bank of Thailand, Executive from the Securities and Exchange Commission, Stock Exchange of Thailand, k a s i k o n Bank Public Company Limited, Institutional Investor, Member of the Banking Sectors, Distinguished Guests. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Government Pension Fund of Thailand or GPF, I would like to take this opportunity to tell all of you here that GPF recognizes that it is our responsibility to create both investment return for our members and social returns for our society and the world. Being a large investor investing globally, we consider ourselves as a universal owner, holding a slice of the world economy. Our investment decision is directly linked to adverse social impact. As such, we must ensure that our decision and action truly adhere to our mission to do well while doing good, and that serve our vision to become the leader in ESG investing and initiatives in Thailand. Throughout the years, GPF has continued to undertake responsible investment mission. From the policy level down to the operational level, at the policy level, we have set in place an investment governance policy, and a framework and guideline for fund management that take into account ESG factors, conform to the international investment governance for institutional investor, and meets international standard and also other standard developed by Thai standard setters. Our advocacy for responsible investing is to encourage other investor in Thailand to adopt similar global principle, and our locally developed agreement. Our first success is the collaborative engagement on negative risk guideline. To accomplish the vision, GPF also signed up as one of the co-founder of the Thailand Responsible Business Network. And a declaration for the market governance promotion initiative in celebration of the auspicious occasion of His Majesty the King coronation. At the operational level, we have adopted responsible investment principle and apply them through our investment value chain. First, focusing on investment analysis and decision making process by co-developing the GPF ESG weight and score. Asset valuation methodology through the cooperation with the OECD and the World Bank. The calculation methodology drew upon the data from MSCI the ESG database as a macro view, and is customized to suit the investment environment in Thailand by our analyst team as a micro adjustment. The methodology is being used in evaluating and selecting domestic fixed income and equity. GPF also take active roles as a business owner by closely monitoring the operation of the investing company to ensure that they conduct their operation as guided by ESG framework. To ensure that all sales are being done, we engage regularly with our fund manager and investing company. We engage even more frequent during the COVID-19 breakout, as we want to make sure that our investing company pay attention to the health. And job securities of their employees. Human right is our focal point for this particular year and the next year. On this issue, we are working with u a e p f i and the Stock Exchange of Thailand in developing a human right heat map and common framework of human right integration and due diligence. This endeavor is part of GPF aim of building economic, social, and environmental strength for Thailand and the global community. We believe that this is an effective mechanism in advocating the UN Sustainable Development Goals or SDG. Sustainable Thailand 2021, the event is initiated by GPF, Ministry of Finance, and United Nations in Thailand. The aim is to announce that Thailand committed towards sustainable Thailand from two main sectors: banks and institutional investor. 
The announcements will let the world know that Thailand is joining forces on sustainable Thailand, and that Thai banking sector aims to adopt the principle of responsible banking or PRB. Also, Thai investors aim to adopt the principle of responsible investment or PRI. To conclude. I would like to thank the tremendous support from the United Nations in Thailand, Ministry of Finance, Bank of Thailand, Security and Exchange Commission, Stock Exchange of Thailand, k a s i k o n Bank, the Thai Banker Association, and lastly, but much more importantly, is my thank to the signatories representing bank and investor in Thailand. To end. I would like to thank Mr. a k o m t e r n p i t h y a p a i s i t the Minister of Finance, who support our initiative from the first day of our meeting. Mr. a k o m would also give us an honor of deliver a keynote speech on sustainable Thailand. His Excellency, Mr. a k o m the floor is yours. Thank you. Keynote speech by Mr. a k o m t e r n p i t h y a p a i s i t Minister of Finance. <coughs> Thank you very much, Kun k i t a s a b a w a n UN Resident Coordinator in Thailand, Governor of Bank of Thailand, Secretary General of Securities and Exchange Commission in Thailand, Kun r u n w a d i Dr. Bagon, President of the Stock Exchange of Thailand, Kun k a t i y a Chief Executive. Officer k a s i k o n Thai Bank, uh, Dr. s i k a n j a Secretary General of the k p f Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to be presiding over the opening of the signing ceremony on Sustainable Thailand, and I'm also very glad to see all of us join, uh, uh, joining us today uh, from the key organization from public and private sector. Uh, entities, both the commercial bank and state-owned banks, as well as the fund managers, that have expressed their dedication and the intentions to help drive the country towards a sustainable Thailand. The topic today is very timely, particularly in time with the uh, we are tackling uh, we are tackling the COVID-19, as well as we are. Talking about where we are going in the next few years for the post COVID, the national, the 13 national economic and social development plan will be also launched very soon. That will give the guideline for the country. For the Ministry of Finance, we have always been building a sustainable and resilient economy through various fiscal policies in short and long terms. Including in time of economic turmoil hit by COVID-19 pandemic, as you are all aware, since last year the Thai economy has severely been affected by a series of COVID-19 outbreaks. The government has taken quickly to contain the spread of the virus and to allocate all necessary fiscal and financial resources to assist the healthcare system and to relieve affected workers as well as businesses. Many government support programs, including co-payment and chop more, get more, or co-payment, a particular co-payment 50-50, to name a few, have also conducted to sustain the level of domestic consumption. The supports will continue to the future growth prospect of Thai economy, as announced by the Ministry of Finance. We still believe that uh, by 2020. Uh, 2021, our economic growth will be at the level of the 1.3 percent. This is quite optimistic, in a way, as compared to the private sector. But for next year, we will keep our momentum for the 4 to 5 percent economic growth for the next year. Distinguished guests, as we continue to tackling tack, tackle the COVID-19 pandemic, to strive towards economic growth. The government has also put in place by laying foundation for Thailand's sustainable growth. Looking forward, the government will accelerate the effort and revitalize the Thai economy after the pandemic 
through three measures in the short term. First, providing full support to medical staff to combat COVID-19, both curation and vaccination. Second, income compensation for those who have been affected by COVID-19, both people and businesses. And third, revitalization of economic activities to secure a source of income and using more fiscal policy to issuing to emergency royal decrees on borrowing to finance the economic costs caused by the pandemic. Distinguished guests, for medium and to long-term recovery, the collaboration between the public and private sector is required and there are six key aspects that I would like to touch upon. First, the promotion of biocircular grid economy model or BCG model that we have been talking, some of the speaker has already mentioned. This economic model will focus on creating high value products from the biological resources, considering reusing various of materials as much as possible and economic development that is environmentally friendly. The government has taken some measures such as the issuance of green, social and sustainability bond and the promotion of investment in electrical uh, vehicles. In particular, the government has set up the National Committee on, electrical, on Electric uh, Vehicles to save the energy and environment. The target is set for 2030 as well. Second, economic restructuring towards new industries by accelerating investment in large-scale infrastructure projects, as well as focusing on the investment in 12 targeted industry or the new S-curve. The investment in Eastern Economic Corridor, or EEC, which will be the new engines of growth, will enhance Thailand's competitiveness and improve the productivity of the economy. Third, digital economy is another key to increasing Thailand's competitiveness. Both private and public sectors must focus on digital transformation. The government is facilitating the public by introducing e-tax filing, state-owned enterprise transaction in order to re reduce costs associated with cash transaction. Fourth, creating a well-established so social safety net. All citizens will be able to receive proper social protections from various schemes, such as social security fund, provident fund, government pension fund, and of course, national saving funds. For national saving funds, the cabinet just approved the allocation for budget for the national, sa national saving funds just last week. Fifth, reducing poverty and inequality by implementing an economic policy that improves the welfare system, quality of life of the people, and enhancing the development of agricultural and rural economy. Lastly, the role of financial and capital markets is important as the tools to divert our resources to what we would like to see particular green financing in our shared vision of sustainable development. Distinguished guests, the Sustainable Thailand 2021 or 2022 project is a collaboration between government agencies, institutional investors and banks in an attempt to announce their intention to operate and achieve their businesses under the Sustainable Development Goals. The collaboration seeks to apply principle of responsible investment and principles of res responsible banking for conducting business together. It helps drive sustainable business operation as well as strengthen the role of Thai investment and banking institutions towards sustainability at the regional and global levels. Honorable guests, now, it's the time that I would like to thank the United Nations for organizing this forum and of course, both public and private sector 
especially all banks who are going to play an important role to finance and gearing the financial resources towards the more high technology and greener businesses to make our planet safe from climate effect. Lastly, let me congratulate to all stakeholders who are going to be part of the signing the commitment of the statement Sustainable Thailand. I hope that this Veno will be a place where everyone can exchange and create constructive ideas to help Thailand economy grow in a sustainable way. By the way, not only the discussion today, but I hope that the more concrete action will be implemented by all stakeholders. And I hope that uh, we shall meet every year to monitor what we are doing, what we have been doing, and what will be the lesson learned for the other agency as well. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome all participants to this remarkable event in which we will announce our commitment to drive towards sustainable Thailand. This event will be a once-in-a-lifetime collaboration between policymakers, regulators, institutional investors, and representatives from the banking sector to adopt the principles for responsible investment and principles for responsible banking. By applying these principles, it can be assured that the way we operate our businesses will be a crucial mechanism to drive our country to achieve sustainable development goals. In this occasion, the signing ceremony is taking place in the presence of the honourable representatives and experts who give us the honour of being here to witness this significant moment. We are joined by Mr. Akhom Thermpitaya Paisit Minister of Finance Mrs. Geeta Sabarwal, UN Resident Coordinator in Thailand of the United Nations Ms. Rune Wadi Suwan Mongkon, Secretary General of the Securities and Exchange Commission Dr. Park Gon B. Tha Chai, the President of the Stock Exchange of Thailand As mentioned, Today, we also have the representatives from 43 organizations that have come together to declare their strong commitment in this occasion. Now, it is the time to make our history. For the signatories, please sign the statement. Please hold for a moment for our photographers. Please put down your pen and look at the camera for a short while. Now please hold up your statement folder. We will take a photo to record this historical moment together. This photo will become the symbol of the significant collaboration between the institutional investors and representatives of the banking sector from the total of 43 organizations and the asset size constitutes the value of 40.18 trillion baht. We come together today with one objective which is to declare our commitment to run our businesses in ways that will enable Thailand's achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. Now the ceremony is successfully completed. Thank you all for your participation. This marks a historical moment for us and our country. Please stay tuned for the next session as we have more interesting topics for you to explore on sustainable investing and banking. <laughs>